Hi, in this video I will present the most important feature of the data analysis module, which is fitting. How can you import data to the data analysis module? You can either get data from file, like so. Let me take out the auto scale so that we see the entire graph. As you import data, the data appears here in the data name list and um, you can delete this data by choosing it from the list. You can also import data into the data analysis program from the conditioning. So this is the data conditioning module and here we have a curve that was conditioned, was actually filtered and we can choose to send it or to export it to the data analysis module and here we are asked if you want to send only the data between cursors or the entire curve and I decide to send the entire curve to the analysis module. Now I can do some very simple fitting here. Uh, notice all the choices of uh, different types of fitting that you can do and let's uh, first demonstrate a linear fit. So I'm going to perform a linear fit in between these two cursors here. I'm just going to zoom into this and disable the auto scale and just perform a linear fit. Now this is the best fit from this point to this point here. Notice that in my curve now I have two curves. Uh, in my uh, list of, of uh, curves where I have two of them, which is one is the initial one and the other one is the fit of the initial one. And I can choose to delete the one that I fit. So let's choose now to perform a non-linear fit, which is the fit that we uh, use uh, more often in our lab. And there are a few things we need to understand here. This is the button to perform the fit, same as for the linear fit. And this is the models that we use to fit. And this is actually an array of models. So you can basically add extra models here uh, if, you, uh, if you want. We use this model here for the activation and reactivation process and we use uh, this one which is two exponential model for the same activation and reactivation and we use this one for relaxation. So this is the model, this is the equation here is where we tell a co the computer uh, what kind of mathematical expression to use to fit our data. We also have to define these terms. The computer understands some mathematical terms like the minus, the exponential, the plus. Uh, but the program doesn't know what T means or A or K or L or B. So this is where we tell the program that T is the independent variable, is basically the time and it appears in the equation in two places. And A, K, L and B are the parameters that are, are to be optimized during the fitting. And once the fitting is done, these bed fit parameters will appear here. Now the initial parameters are uh, corresponding to these uh, parameters of the equation are the initial values that we give to the computer to start with the uh, fitting process. Sometimes we can be wrong and we can uh, add here some numbers that uh, don't make any sense. And when we perform a fit with these numbers the uh, computer might give us uh, an error message. Uh, for now I see that uh, the uh, fitting went well and this is what um, the program found as the optimal parameters for fitting. In case you don't get it and you get the error message, you just use this view model tool here. And this is the curve representing these parameters here. And by changing these parameters, your curve changing. And when you exit, notice that k equals 1 and k equals 55 here. So when I exit the program, these parameters that I set there are entered here. But actually I know now the best parameters are here, so if I want to use them again for the next fitting, I will just press this button and they are copied one by one uh, into this space here. Let's see what happens when uh, you're not choosing the proper initial parameters uh, before you're starting the fit. So these are the best numbers that uh, fit this uh, curve here. So I'm going to mark them down 
and let's delete this fit now and try to run a fit with something that really doesn't make any sense for the program so if I perform a fit on this curve here I'll get an error message basically the program is telling me that I'm crazy and these numbers are, are off the chart there is no way to maximize uh, uh, this, to this fit uh, starting from these parameters and the idea is to get closer to uh, the real numbers, get closer to the numbers that uh, represent the best fit. Uh, actually, this model doesn't make any sense. This is this is how it looks. So I'm going to start to converge towards these numbers. So I know that this number was 0 0.008. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start by using one, and this one was something very close to six. This one is two point something but I'm gonna put ten uh, just to see if the program can converge from uh, these numbers let's try to perform the fit so you see that it's it's it is no good uh, still um, actually I made an error here is I performed the fit on on the other fit so I have to delete these uh, curves here so I always have to perform the fit on the curve so let me try these numbers again there you go so these numbers worked so you see as you get closer to the, what the real numbers are uh, the fitting starts to uh, to work so the real value of uh, the first parameter is 0 0.008 we put 1 uh, and instead of 2.2 we put 6 and instead of 6 we put 10 instead of 0 0.008 we put 25 and it still works so somehow you have to get closer to these parameters not very close to them, but close enough so that the program can, uh, the algorithm can uh, can start uh, from something to converge on the real numbers. And if we look at this model here now, uh, this is what it looks like. So you see that it's kind of similar to the one we have. And if we uh, actually put the real numbers here, so this is 2.22, the curve starts to uh, look much more like the other one uh, that you actually have on the graph. If you want to use these parameters, uh, which is the best fit, you just press this button and here we go, they're copied one by one 